guys, it's Karen again. I'm back for video number two in the same day. So uh, at the end of this video, you'll be able to see the dry results from the piece from Tuesday and the one from today. And um, I know a lot of people have been experimenting, doing a ton of swipes, using their palette knives, playing around, making swirlies and designs and um, tons of fun. Love it, love it. Uh, but I've had a bug up my butt to play around with my hair dryer and move the paint around and try to get proficient in um, blowing things, blowing the paint around. That's like my new goal. So I really can't call this experiment a deconstructed bloom. I guess it's just a blowout really, um, where I'm going to put down some uh, paint from the same paint from the last video, same colors and everything. But this time, just put it in a straight line and then use my hair dryer to um, move everything around. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Let me get you guys down. Um, haven't done this in a long time, so pretty sure I'm gonna have a couple fails, but we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so I've already had a fail. Um, I'm just gonna cut it out. Don't wanna waste your time. I'm trying to use up <laughs> uh, leftover paint as best I can. These are the same colors as the last video because it's basically a half an hour later. Oh, there is, I don't know what's up with my uh, lumpy house paint. Did you guys see that? I thought I saw something. Yep, what are you? Whatever you are, come on out. I see you. Um, I'll just yell out the colors, colors, brands, pouring medium recipe, all that good stuff is in the description section. I'm using mostly, uh, these guys, these modern master colors, like this one right here is rose gold. And this first one I'm going to put down is their antique bronze. And I'm just totally experimenting with the hair dryer is what I'm doing. Basically, I'm a lot of bronze and I want to get white cells. And I really like the rose gold and the bronze together. So let me do that. And they look amazing together. And let's put the gold on top. So this is uh, PBO Studio Acrylics. This is their iridescent precious gold. So come here, my precious. A little bit of you. And then we have some burnt orange back to the Modern Masters. And I know I could just swipe this. And I know a lot of people are playing with their palette knives lately and doing swipes. But I'm on this kick of mastering the art of the blow dryer. So that's what I'm gonna try. We'll see how that goes. Hasn't worked out too well so far. But we'll give it another go. I think that's enough colors. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing one. No, orange, red, rose gold, lots of bronze. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna put, we'll put this straight down, whoa, a lot, a lot of cell activator, and we'll blow it in both directions. Cool air, low fan, wish me luck.
bits of it. I don't like this. That's gonna come off for sure. that was a good idea or not. Well, we have one, let's make two. We'll figure it out. No, I'm not one for making swirlies, but let's just use this to do this there. This still has a really big indentation right there. I'm loving this part. This looks like it needs some help right in here. I'm worried that when I go to tilt, that black is gonna make a big appearance. We'll find out. All right, let's tilt. Mm. Well, first let's add just a little bit of white on these corners. There. And I got a big, big old spot of nothingness right here. And I think I have enough paint to run off on that side. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, this is a weird size canvas. This is a nine by 18. Um, I kind of like it because it's perfect for experimenting. It's big enough to experiment, but not too big that you only cry a little bit when you have to uh, waste paint. I'm gonna take off that white stuff for a second. And the black. <laughs> Both of you. Let's go straight across. I'm gonna come down a little bit because I don't wanna lose my orange. And then come over. I'm gonna worry about the one bikini corner later. Let's just move it around a little bit. So I'm gonna come down at a different angle. Can you guys kinda see? Look at that other corner with the white lacing. I just don't want it to be all symmetrical. Bear with me a second, I know you can't see. I'm gonna just stop and look before we get all crazy with the tilting. Oh gosh, it's kind of cool. Kind of liking it. I like this, mm, before I go pointy, let me uh, wipe off my fingers. I'd like to see this thing go all the way over. And I know if I tilt, I'm gonna lose all this cool stuff here. And see how this is stretched out right here? It would behoove me to tilt that way first and not worry about that. Yep, yep. As much, I'm gonna let that live. Learn from previous pores. Yep, I'm gonna take this stuff back down here for a second and then bring it back. Can you see what I'm doing? Make sure I'm in frame. 
and then move it around. Try to get some movement. I'm gonna head up to this one corner. I'm not trying to get to, to the corner. I'm just trying to put some movement into the paint, to the painting. Oh, I might be able to get that one part. Nope, I don't wanna lose over the, that one corner. Hold on. See, I was tempted to take this off, but then I started to lose all this cool lacing. And I wanna keep it, I think. Because I'm trying to experiment and regular Karen would, my inclination would be, because it's my style, would be to bring this all the way over, lose the lacing, and then this would all come across and make nice, pretty, even straight lines. And I'm trying to break out of that mold. So I'm liking this whole part of the painting. That doesn't bother me um, too, too much. I could probably do a little swipe or something with black right there, maybe. I'll worry about that in a second. What I don't like is this jutting up. So maybe what I will do is steal some paint for this corner. And we'll just kind of lay it on there like that. Wow, that matched up really nice, didn't it? Um, Oh, Karen, you just ruined it, Goober. <laughs> Hold on. Let's redo that. Oh, I got to lay that on there so it looks so great. Hold on. Let me steal some of this red. All right, now I might try to go to that corner. And then I'm going to bring the whole thing down down this end. Just take that, it should fly off fairly easy. We'll leave a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring the whole thing down. Down, 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 down. Open up that whole top, can you see there? I'm gonna open that all up. One side, just a little. And then come back over this side. Oh, I think I came down a little bit too far. So let me center everything and we'll go back up. This way just to take off some wonky lines. Lay it off. Lay it off. And then take it back over and center everything. This one is wild looking. I'm kind of loving it. I don't know what to call this. Because I didn't do a traditional deconstructed bloom. It's just like the wild blowout or something. I have a little bit of flocculation going on that says white spots. Um, like here. Let me see if I can dunk it. There's a bubble right there. I got the wrong end of the stick. Where else? Here. Little things like this. Um, let me stare, make sure I'm happy with this. I think I am. I think it has just enough white um, in it. I love, I love my two corners. I usually, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm not a fan of bikini corners. This, this, both of them are cool. They get to stay. They get to live. 
And that part that was bugging me so much right here, I think I'm just gonna grab a little piece of it and just kind of pull it over like that to match this one here that's already going over. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty dang happy with this one. Yep, ta-da. I am just gonna stand here for a minute. Um, I'm not gonna make you guys watch, but like these little white dots, I'm just gonna stand here with my skewer and dunk those in and pop some bubbles and uh, get you guys down for a close up. Be right back. Okay, my husband just informed me that he prefers this painting from the last video. Well, I think, well, I like them both. I do. I think this one has a lot of really cool, interesting little parts to look at. But there's something to be said for the wild child right here. Um, let me let me go sideways again. It always seems to work better. But. I love the bronze with the rose pink color. Really cool. I love that whole feature here. Let me go this way for a second. And this whole feature here. Um, if I forgot to mention it, my cell activator color was Oxide Black by Amsterdam. It was like four and a half to one. It was super thin. And what that does is gives you those super, super thin lines everywhere, like up there, that I love. The gold does not look right under my light. I will tell you that. It looks like it's old gold, but it's not. Like it has a weird tint to it that in my camera that is not true to life. It's more like regular gold. There it is. Uh, stay tuned for the dried results of both of these. And uh, yeah, let me flip around. Okay guys, back with the dried results uh, from the last video and this current video. Here's this guy, the commission piece. Um, the black kind of sunk on me a little bit in some areas. I mean, I'm being ultra picky. I gotta show you my favorite spot is that right there. I uh, so hung this upside down since the last time you've seen it. So I kind of like this orientation like this. I'll leave it up to my client or bear with me. We can throw it there. It looks good either way, I think. So there's the first one. Let me put out the second one. Okay, here's number two. Uh, this one dried absolutely perfectly. So even though it has like these lines everywhere, they're, they didn't sink. That's just like how it dried. It dried really, really smooth. Um, I really like that I got orange to show up and play this time in a lot of the spots. Uh, that one was very fun to do. I like that little guy. That's the orientation I have right now. I think I could also flip this one. I'm not going to bother. And you could hang it any old way you want. If you're interested in this piece, give me a shout. Uh, my email address is waterfallcrylics at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, guys, that's it for me. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm, I'm very, very torn. To me, um, one of them looks very organized in a sense, uh, the composition. Um, it's more laid out, um, so that appeals to me. And then I look at the other one where it's all kind of like whoosh, kind of the wild child one, and that one appeals to me too. So it's a toss up for me. Let me know which one you prefer. And in the next video, I'm going to go back to my summer painting because I'm still bummed out that the uh, painting I did right before a vacation at 20, 12 by 24 got ruined. So do over for that one. Until then, uh, you guys take care, be safe, happy summer. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for getting me 
to 61,000. I think I gained a thousand followers in something like 10 days, which was amazing. So appreciative for you guys tuning in and hitting those buttons for me. And uh, yeah, you all take care. Peace out.